Yeah, what's going on, people? You know who it is. I'm back to give you another glorious I tribe. Back to give you another what you would call a lecture, a speech, a learning sample, teaching, drop some knowledge on you, keep it a real, keep it a funky, and it's real rap over here. I can care less what the rest of y'all say, it's real rap. Like I always say, if you can d dispute all this, you come with facts, bring them. Y'all just want to y'all get all emotional and y'all say, oh, you're this, you're this. I may be that, but as long as I'm kicking facts, it's fuck you anyways. And let me get back to what I'm going to talk about. Today I'm going to talk about YouTube swagger jackers. I'm going to talk about YouTube culture vultures, YouTube, how can we say, uh, lifestyle thieves. How's that? A lot of you are lifestyle thieves. Now what I mean by that, there's people on YouTube that... Aren't try, are making videos, and I, I'm not hating on this. That's your business to do what you do. They're making videos to gain your emotion, which you should be. But they're gaining your emotion off of the profits and the pain of other people. Now, if you're making a video trying to help people, if you're pointing out the pointing out the bad things, but yet you're trying to help people, I have no problem with that. But if over and 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 over you're talking about just the negative aspect of a group, but you offer like you'll 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 say so and so does this, and you'll repeat it in like 50 videos, and maybe in one video you'll give like how to solve the problem. I have a problem with that, because then all I know is you're just you're just hitting buttons and you're going for demographic. I know. I look, man. I know the deal. You know, behind this pretty face, you know, you got a little common sense going. I know what you're trying to do. But the problem lies in is when these culture vultures take get heat thrown at them, all of a sudden they want to please, hey, you should a YouTube video. I'm just doing this. I can't, you know, you shouldn't pick it. Look, as I always say, be a man, which a lot of you see. And this is the problem I have with women raising women raising little boys. A lot of y'all are copping, please, because, I mean, I know a lot of y'all were raised in single parent homes. This shows about your mother. Because, like, when somebody gets on your throat, you pull what the women do. Well, I don't know why you're doing this, and then you go to name calling. You, you do what women do, and I understand that because that's where you came from. That's how you grew up, so you don't know no better. Because you're a real man, you know if you got caught, situation would be handled. But my problem is, a lot of these people do they do it just to do it. Like if that's your thing, I'm cool with it. But like, don't try to profit off of the pain without trying to you know give advice on how we can change your pain and turn to a positive. Like, people get on me, they say, well, you talk about people on welfare. Yes, I do talk about people on welfare, but let me go back to my videos and look if you see what I, yes, I do talk about them, but here's what I talk about. I talk about the people who are on welfare for like 50 years, able-bodied men and women who can work but don't want to because they want to stay on the rolls. But let me tell you why they don't want to work. See, their caseworkers don't want them to work. Now, you want, you want to know why? Because if, if everybody on welfare who was able-bodied got up and work, there'd be some mass layoffs. Same thing with child support. If you and your kid's mother agreed on everything you want to know why there would be less workers the business of the social services is to stay in business a lot of you don't understand that because a lot of y'all don't have rudimentary thinking a lot of y'all just get mad and you display the stereotypes it's, it's real you want to display the stereotypes to get, get mad when you get called out on these stereotypes but if you call somebody on the stereotypes show them why you say it and show them how they can help saw that stereotype like I, I talk about it all day i'll talk about black people white people hispanic asian indian i don't give a shit i'll talk about it if i'm, I'm talking about a thing but at the same time in my video i'm talking about how we can change this around this cycle around but a lot of y'all don't want to hear that a lot of y'all want to hear you know the negative and boom 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 but then when you get called out on it you don't want to do you do like women do you you, you pull your skirt up and you're running crying why it's time for y'all to be men about the situation Another thing, I won't call y'all so, I, that's what I call the culture vultures. Now, these swagger jackers and lifestyle thieves, what I've been noticing lately, look, I'm going to be honest with you. I watch other people's videos, and people know I do, because sometimes I leave comments, and some of you bitches will erase my comments for whatever reason. Like, here's the thing they do, they erase the comments thinking, well, I don't want him to get seen. Look, man, you think I give a fuck about, like, five of your viewers watching my fucking videos? Go check my shit stats on social. Media. I give a fuck about your five fucking viewers watching my video. I know you watch my video. You want to know why? Because these swagger jackers and lifestyle thieves have the balls to say, 
Well, I don't watch nobody else's videos. Then they use the words that you use. I don't know how many times I've caught these swagger jackers and these lifestyle thieves using words like, I, there's words out there like, like peon and a peasant. I call people all this stuff. Now, these words weren't well known. I mean, weren't well readily used on YouTube and everybody knows this. I start using words and all of a sudden I see, I see famous YouTubers using them. All of a sudden it's like, let me put it this way. Apparently, I'm your favorite YouTuber's YouTuber. I think I think I think I said that. No, I said that wrong. I'm your favorite YouTuber's favorite YouTuber. Because when they're going, they're using my shit, and they're they're, they're twisting around. They're adding, they're adding their little funky shit. But here's what it is. It's like these it's like these rappers. It, you know, these rappers stay relevant because they what they do is they watch. Let me tell you something, you young rappers, old rappers, and mainstream like Fifty J, uh, Dre, Snoop, all these relevant rappers watch your videos you want to know why they watch your videos because look they want to know what the lingo is and if you're up and coming and you're starting to get hot listen to jay listen to 50 listen to snoop listen to dre listen to all these established rappers they'll start using your slang and you're sitting there saying wow he cool he know my he know why we talking he know what we talking about yeah the reason why he knows what he's talking about because he's watching your video you think this dude's got time to hang out where you hang out i don't think so they watching your video so they, they kind of lifestyle thieving on it, but, you know, I'll call it is what it is. Like, I'll see a lot of these guys. Here's here's the here's the dumbest sign about people people say that you know they swagger jacking. If you ever hear somebody say, oh, I don't watch anybody else's videos. If you don't watch anybody else's videos, how do you know that people are making videos about you? And then, then, then the cop out is, well, so-and-so sent me a tweet. Well, what, if you don't want to watch anybody's videos, Tell them to stop sending you tweets. Tell them to stop sending you emails. But you know what it is? You watch the videos, but you want to give off the arrogance and the attitude like, I don't watch your videos, like you're beneath me. I know for a fact you watch my videos. There's people out there who can't stand me, but yet they watch my videos, and then they incorporate my language into their videos and still ain't getting them nowhere. And, I, and let me put this, there's was, there was a couple people who had like were trying to beef with me on YouTube. I have no problem dispelling rumors and messing about my opinions or whatever. I have no problem if you make a video about me, I'm going to come back at you. But at the same time, is don't get cute and don't get slick. Because there's, there's been three YouTubers. One of them, he's kind of, he's kind of, he's out there. He's feminine. He, he got feminine ways. What he did is he, he started making all these videos about me. And I gave him warnings. I said, look, bro, look, dude, you need to, you need to quit. I said, because if I go in on you, and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to use this channel. I'm going to use my other channels where it's my face you see, and I'm going to bomb the fuck out of you. He didn't stop. He didn't stop. So you know what I did? I said, all right. So one day he said something that I didn't say. And it was real derogatory. Called me all sorts of homos and this, that, and the fifth. I said, I'm on your ass now. So I started making videos on what I was doing. And what I do is I expose the lies and your deceit and what the words you say. And I, I break it down simply for people to understand. Like if you say X, Y, Z, I'm going to show you what X, Y, Z means to the people and how you contradict yourself. And like a lot, and I had these, I had these dudes, I had this dude threaten to sue me and he went to Google on me. But yet he's a tough talker. Since when do snitches become tough talkers? I don't pay the guys like that no mind. You want to watch because they just want to talk and they want me to talk to them. That's like one guy people say, how come you don't put no names in your videos? Number one, I talk about the subjects at hand. Yes, I watch other people's videos. If you look at the comments, I talk about people's whose videos I watch. I have no problem with that. And sometimes you guys put your comments in there and say, what do you think about so-and-so? I tell you the truth about it. This is my opinion. It's not written in stone. It's not like I said, that and that's what I think it do. It's just when I watch some of these, I, I don't watch a lot of people's videos. I watch people's videos who I feel I'm interested in. Like, if you start doing the fucking wannabe tough guy who's the man speech on YouTube, I automatically turn you out because it's like this. You talk all that stuff, tough guy talk, but you like the dumb motherfuckers who, like, recently, like, there's this chick on Facebook who was selling food stamps on Facebook for 50 bucks, and then she got busted, and then wondering why she got busted. These, I stay away from guys like you because guys like you are no trouble, and guys like you will take me back to my old days. So what I had to do is I had to stay on YouTube and I have to remain, I remain relevant by talking relevant topics. I talk about topics that none of you other guys are talking about. Now, I, I see some of you guys are diverse and, you know, getting a little diversity as far as your topics. 
Some of you guys were just banging the drum on all black people. Now, son, you want to get a little bit on the homosexual tip? You want to get on the, you know, the world stuff? And I, I appreciate that. It brings more black people into the knowledge of that. But at the same time, make sure it's not from my videos. If I'm making a video about Scotland, please don't talk about the independence of the former of, of the. And, 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 and it was what was the fucking video? Is Scotland going for independence? Don't make it that similar. Change your shit up. Like, YouTube is meant for you to express your ideas and opinions. And unfortunately, look, if you're a twerker, I give you no credit for twerking. All I'm thinking is with down there. I'm not thinking with this up here. I'm just thinking about this hitting and running. So if you're a twerker, if you're coming off with some dumb bullshit, and I, I don't want to hear it. But if you come off with, like, some intellectual skills, and, like, being an intellectual don't mean you have to go to college. Because I'm schooling you motherfuckers every day. Well, I did go to college, but I didn't graduate. But at the end of the day, it's like this. If you live and die by what you say on YouTube, remember, it's recorded. And somebody can find you out. Somebody can find if you're lying or not. So if you make 100 videos, you make that one video contradicting, contradicting yourself, that's the video's going to burn you. So... I gotta go. 